Hi guys, today I'm basically going to be your fortune teller. I'm going to tell what watch would be best for you and um, how you can find your phone with this watch. So, let's start with what watch would be best for you. If you lose your phone a lot, like I do, um then this watch is the best watch for you and you also like extra features and you have a, and you have contacts on your phone and stuff then this is the perfect watch for you now let's um view how you find your phone see this you see this but there are actually two wi different ways to do it and then i'm going to show and then in the app i'm going to show you how you can find your watch so here it is right click this button scroll all the way down you see this phone that has like a search bar thingy next to it click that and i don't know if you so i don't know if you heard that but that was just the thing I hear when when I uh, and then there's another way to do it. You scroll this thing up. Now I don't know if you heard. Now I don't know if you heard that either. But yeah. All right, now I'm going to show you how you can find your watch if you lose it. Before we move on to that part, if you had, if I could, if that watch is not right for you, then there are other watches. Then I'm going to recommend two more, two more kinds of watches. So if you're, if you suck at math, you don't want to spend too much money on your watch. Like, and you have $20 on you to spend. I just say, and then I just say, go ahead and get a Casio. And get a, and go ahead and get a Casio. If you only got $20 to buy, to buy a watch with, then go ahead. Go ahead, do it. And you won't regret it. Till one day you have 50. I mean, Till one day you get 30 more dollars, and then you get better at math, then you're gonna regret it big time. No, I'm joking. Anyways, um, so yeah, and there's one more kind of watch. Um, kind of like the watches that, let that, like, kind of like the watches that were made in the 16th century. Now, I don't all mean, like, I don't mean, like, all analog and stuff. <coughs> <coughs> if you're <coughs> now some analog watches cost a lot of money so if you want a watch that just that only costs five dollars then there are these analog watches i mean sorry digital watches that costs like five dollars there at Walmart. Some of them cost six dollars, but it, and some cost a little more, but they're really, but they're under ten dollars. The cheapest we had was like five dollars, and the cheapest. I mean, the cheapest watch I've ever had was the CA five three W. Either that or, or. It was probably it was probably that uh race car watch thingy that i had it was just weird but those watches are like really weird so if you're gonna buy that watch you better read the instructions because that's gonna get really confusing those watches only have three buttons so yeah there you go and if none of those watches are for you then i don't know what to tell you somebody else will have to help you with your problems all right, so 
um, this is the last part. Um, so you're gonna go, so you're gonna start in the activity section. Now, now you go to settings, right? Now you're gonna go to uh, notification. Oh no, no, no! Actually, actually, no, 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 no! Watch settings. Then click find device, and it makes a sound, right? Uh, now, so that you so like you can find your watch and stuff. Alright, hope that was helpful for you and stuff. Bye.